Globally, there's a growing trend to bridge the gap between farm and fork through organic farmers markets and community-supported agriculture. In Metro Manila, local and organic food has gained in popularity in recent years. No longer solely for an elite, a growing group within the middle classes is attracted to organic food, mostly for health reasons. Filipinos are ready, are ready, because uh, especially the urban areas, they are more health conscious now. For individual consumption, you, you get into a healthy lifestyle, then uh, the production of organic uh, vegetables and fruits, it also protects the environment. Quality is far more important than the price, and the benefits outweighs uh, expenses. In the first five years of my market, Filipinos who lived and studied abroad and foreigners were about 70% of my market base. They feel if they can do their share of eating something organic and helping the environment, it would be good. I opened this restaurant about five and a half years ago. All our vegetables are 100% organic. It's a healthier way of farming and it's more sustainable. Organic certification is new to the Philippines with the passage of a 2012 law. However, some are critical because certification is cost prohibitive to small farmers who may prefer peer-to-peer -peer schemes, broadly used in the Philippines. So it started in 2012, year 2012 with the passage of the law, which mandates that uh, we have to promote and develop organic agriculture in the Philippines. The overall goal is converting 5% of the total agricultural land area in the Philippines into organic agriculture production areas. I've been prompting our government to do more education, not just creating a law, a law which I'm not too fond of, I'm afraid to say, um, because it patterned an American law that's not successful. We don't have a real standard to speak of. We only copied the IFOAM standards, which I mentioned earlier, are really geared towards temperate zone agriculture. We need to create our own tropical zone agriculture. A very big challenge is to really convert the minds of the farmers into going organic. The certification fee is perceived to be expensive if you have small land holdings. But if you form the farmers into smallholder certification groups, then it would be cost effective. All my suppliers are local, market-based, and mostly ones I know, uh, but they're not necessarily all organic, and they're not especially not certified organic. Once you start the system of certifying the third-party system of certification, you have to do it every year. That's 250000 minimum every year. So unless you're exporting a product where you're making more than that, it's not really sustainable. You have to look at the certifying group if uh, they're some sort of a... Uh, you know, acknowledged group by, say, the government or some organic producers. Organic labeling might discriminate against non-organic labeled but actually organic produce. So that's my concern about it. There are supermarkets now which offers organic uh, produce and they say that it's certified. I think there's space for industrial agriculture. There is. Um, not to say that it's impossible to feed the country with uh, small-scale farms, but I would prefer for the small-scale farms to feed more of the country than industrial agriculture. Here, even the industrial-scale organic is uh, a little bit more friendly in size. I mean, you still know the people operating it. So I'm still a little bit more satisfied at the industrial-style organic agriculture here because of that. So I tell people, I hope, that they listen, you know, the big commercial people, going to organic food production because if we're only at 1%, there's 99% open area. One key question for organic food production in the Philippines today is, will it provide more Filipinos with healthy and sustainable diets or remain the privilege of rich consumers in the country and abroad? Are we young?